What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. I'm still in my onesie. Look, it's so cold here this morning, but thankfully we don't have any meetings so we can wear what we want. I could be wearing no pants for all you know. Spicy. But anyway, let's get cracking with the player of the week, lads, right? We'll keep this short and sweet as we like to do. And to be honest with you, we're just going to kind of give a gloss over some of the cards because, to be honest, a lot of these cards now, right, and we've called it. Let me just hide my face, actually. It was a bad idea. Let me just hide my face a second, um, not to cover up some of these, right? A lot of these cards, as people in the comments will say, and they've said last week and they said the week before, a lot of these cards are not changing your squad, really. I mean, these are just kind of highlight cards that are just to put out a little bit of card content or card tent, as I like to call it sometimes. I mean, these cards are fairly okay, but they're not going to be... They're starter cards, essentially. Now, if you do want to collect cards and you do want to get your free spins and all that, I do definitely recommend actually getting your free spin and opening it. Um, but for all intents and purposes, lads, unless you're going for a, spe a specific spin, I mean, this guy, even though he's got 89 reflexes and 88 goalkeeper awareness... There's, there, there's so many good goalkeepers that you can get for GP instead of wasting coins, right? Similar with Darmian, right? Yeah, he's a solid right back, okay? But as I've said for weeks and months now, these cards are aimed at newcomers every week. That somebody can download the game, okay? And that they can spin and get a free spin and have an instant player. And within two to three weeks or four weeks, they can have a monstrous team by doing the events and by getting the free rewards or else by getting the free spins with the events, right? So... If you've been playing the game for a long time, these cards are only ever going to excite you if there's one or two cards at the end which we'll get to, right? But fairly decent, I mean bad player skills, but fairly decent otherwise. We also have Trezeguet as well as a whole player, 92 speed, 93 acceleration, 88 dribbling, but his balance is bad. His tight possession is bad. Apologies, lads. My throat's still a little bit sore. Super sub on him makes him a little bit more viable. Um, and he does have a nice appearance in the game as well. Um, he's a fairly... Look, he's a fairly okay player. Is he going to be able to come in off the bench? Yes, with super sub and outside curler, pinpoint cross and one touch pass. He also has double touch and flip flap. But you can train these players. If you are a newcomer, you cannot train these players or reset them. What you see is what you get, right? We also have Lukaku. So, sometimes Lukaku wouldn't hit the barn door, and sometimes he's a beast in the game. He's got 90 finishing, 75 acceleration, but the big killer on this card is the same that we're going to see with Darwin Nunes. It is his balance and tight possession, or lack thereof, right? So, these two cards that you're going to see are very similar in how they play. Strong, physical, very aggressive, um, really good finishing, shooting, stats, but stats only tell half the picture with a lot of these cards, right? Now, he does have fighting spirit, heading, track back, area superiority. He also has one-touch pass and first-time shot, which is pretty decent for this card. And if you are looking for somebody that you didn't get collar, you're looking for a big beast up front, you don't have Drogba, you don't have Adriano, any of the big boys, and you're fairly new to the game, he's not bad if you get him on your free spin. Uh, speaking of that, we have Nunes as well. So look at his tight possession and balance, very poor. He does have track back, fighting spirit, one touch pass, double touch, as well as long, long range shooting and first time shot. So if you are a Liverpool fan, who remembers the lads when eFootball 22 came out? Darwin Nunes was unbelievable when you could train him up. He was a beast, right? But then they really nerfed tight possession and balance. And you'll find that when you're running with these guys, balance affects pretty much everything and tight possession even more so now, right? But a solid card nonetheless. We also have Fafana, who is down as a CMF box to box. Um, and there's been so many good midfielders lately that it's hard to see how he would get into a fairly decent even Division 5 and upward squad. Um, so yeah, I mean, pretty decent, but you can get this guy for on the standard GP market if you don't want to spin for him. Uh, I definitely would recommend just do that. And to be honest, you should only be playing if you're looking to play for anything other than fun. If you're playing for fun, you can use any of these players. I mean, you can put collar in goals. You can put uh, Diaz left back, right back. It doesn't make a difference because all the players will play in, in a certain way with the animations. Um, and stats will obviously complement them. But if you are playing for anything other than to get, you know, absolutely smashed uh, nowadays, right? Because there's nothing else to play for apart from, you know, sweaty football league, um, apart from the events, you are going to have to have the kind of same, you know, pool of 50 players that you pick from, right? De Vrij is another player as well that I've kind of never really given a proper go to. So if I did spin him, I might throw him in. But he's only on C rating. He's got standard form. His defense is pretty decent, but not extraordinary. I do like his physical contact and his heading stats. And I also like his skills that he has as well. That He's got blocker, interception, area superiority. Doesn't have acrobatic clearance, which is a little bit of a no-no for me. But other than that, he's a very solid card for newcomers. And then we also have this attacking midfielder who's down as a whole player as well. Is that Meyer or Major, lads? 
like Colonel Major, or is it Meyer? I thought it was Meyer, but I could be wrong. This is why I don't pronounce some names. But anyway, double touch, long range curler, knuckle shot, dip in shot, first time shot, one touch pass, true pass and weighted pass. And of course, he's got that unwavering form. Again, you know, high uh, ball dribbling, but you will get all of this and more with the likes of, you know, GP Pedri free GP standard Pedri with better speed acceleration. Um, there's a lot of cards that fill that whole player role if you want as well, you know, such as Simmons or Eze or any of those guys um, if you were lucky enough to get them, right? We do have as well, Moyle, this guy is fairly decent down as a right back. He's got high speed, stamina, acceleration, and the rest of his stats are just average. Doesn't have, oh, he does have pinpoint crossing, apologies. He does have interception, but he doesn't have man marking, sliding tackle. Uh, he does have fighting spirit, which I quite like as well. I've had this car before on my Road to Glory, and I've had him on my Xbox account, the long fabled Xbox account. Will we ever play the Xbox? Maybe over Christmas. Let's see. Um, and then we do have Fer Ferran Torres and Diaz, who are probably the picks of them, right? So let me just crack on with these, right? Ferran Torres is a guy, okay? And I'm going to say something. He's pretty decent as a creative playmaker, right? The first thing that you'll want to know when you're playing uh, this game, and I've done a video on it, is I'll probably do an updated video on it, is whether or not to play a creative or a whole player for that attacking midfielder slash CMF role, right? They do have slightly different IDs. I know I don't complicate it, lads. There's no point in overcomplicating everything. Um, sometimes, I mean, the player roles and the play styles, they are important to a, a degree, but in terms of how the player moves, a lot of the players are balanced through a series of animations, and then those stats, you know, uh, affect those animations, right? But he's got some very, very unique player skills and stats, and also as a creative playmaker, right? So he's got double touch, he's got soul control, he's got first time shot, one touch pass, true passing, but he also has low lofted and pinpoint crossing, right? So low lofted is one of the most rare passing skills in the game, and that makes up for his lofted pass and low pass being very low for a kind of a creative playmaker, right? He's got really blistering pace, speed, and of course the dribbling, but he's also got 81 finishing, so a very unique card, even for players or meta kind of squads, this guy looks the business, in my opinion. And we also have Diaz. So, listen, I'm a United fan. Diaz is a Liverpool man. And we have never really got on with Liverpool players on the channel. But Diaz is an exception to the rule, and so is Van Dijk, right? So, putting my rivalry aside, I think Diaz is a fantastic player. He's got everything that you could possibly want. Brilliant dribbling. Not the best card that they've released of him, I will say that. Not the best card that they have released of him. I'll just hide myself again. But he can play left wing, right wing, left mid as well. He's fairly decent cutting in to shoot. He's got 80 finishing. He also has some nice stamina. Speed and acceleration is off the charts. He also has jumping and kicking power, which is quite high, as well as heading. So he's a very unique card. And this is what I like to see. He's down as a whole player, not as a winger, not as a Roman flank or a prolific winger. He can play AMF, but cutting in from that left side is going to be very interesting with this card. So let me know if you guys spin or skip. That is it for the player of the week selection. Uh, I will be back quite, la quite later, later on with some more videos. Until then, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.